Hi guys, I'm at Untold Festival and I'm really happy to be in the studio tonight with Nikki Romero. Welcome back to Romania. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. How was the gig tonight? Uh, it was really, really good. I played first time here at Untold and I, uh, I knew it was a really good festival. But to, uh, to actually be here was something really different and I'm very, very thankful that I uh, that I was here tonight and that the people were so crazy with me on the, on the show. It's really, really crazy. I know you had a really busy summer. You've just released your documentary, Really Fine. Yes. How did it all get started? Um, I try to uh, to take the fans to um, you know through my past, my present, my future. I try to show them how I got to where I am now, uh, and I take them through the project of Toulouse, of I Could Be the One, you know how I got discovered with uh, Carl Cox and how David Guetta found me. Um, all those milestones in my career, I try to show the projects and the music and the process in my documentary in the Redefined. Um, I just try to show people how I started out and it's really, really the same for everyone. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of no sometimes, uh, but if you really want it, you can make it. And I try to view that in, the, in, the, um, in three different ways actually. It's, um, it's the, the present, the past and the future. Um, and uh, every episode has its own vibe to it where I talk about that particular moment. Uh, so people have an idea like how I started out and how I try to continue in the future. Were you afraid to make public some things about your career in this documentary? No, because I, I think everything that happened happened for a reason. Um, I made a lot of mistakes in my career, I guess. Uh, so do a lot of people. Uh, it's really a tough industry sometimes. At the same time, I also really appreciate everything that I, uh, that I everything that happened well for me. I got really lucky with certain songs and collaborations, and so um, it's absolutely fine. And I'm, I'm really happy to show whatever happened to the people and to bring the realness back to the to the game. So Redefine shows your real face to the public. Yeah, I try to show my face and also uh, who's behind the person. Well, uh, Nicky Romero is just a mask that I'm wearing on stage, but the real person that I am, Nick, is just uh, a normal guy like everyone else, and I try to uh, take people in that same process. Let's talk about music now and collaborations. I know you've just released a track with Sam Martin and Stadium X. Yep. Love you forever. How did yep. this collaboration come about? Uh, well, I'm a big fan of the boys of Stadium X for a long time. I've done a song called um, I signed it on Protocol Recordings. Was Howl at the Moon was a song of Stadium X, mm -hmm. and I was a huge fan of that. And then they came up with a new song called Ghosts, and I signed that on Protocol too. And I found like these guys have a very good sound. They have a very, very own distinctive sound. So I was like, okay, I need to work with these guys. So then we've done a song together called Harmony. And after Harmony, we've done Rise. And after Rise, we started to work on this one. And they sent me a demo of, of Love You Forever. And I was really impressed by it. And we tried to work on it together uh, and make it a new, uh, a new collaboration. It's actually an in-between club streaming radio friendly song it's a little bit of everything so sometimes i play it in my set and sometimes i play it during the radio shows uh but that's also what i like about it. it's a real hybrid song i really like the video i mean it has a powerful message yeah um, have you ever felt the need to say love you forever to someone special in your life i think we all need to sometimes be a little bit more open how we feel towards other people especially to your parents to your family maybe to your loved ones it's sometimes uh really tough to tell you love someone because you know them so well and they live so close to you. Uh, try to think of maybe your parents or your sister or your brother uh, and tell them and, and think about how many times do I actually tell them that I love them. It's actually not that much, even though you see them so many times. So we try to take that message to a video of, of, uh, of the song and I think the message is, uh, is quite powerful for all of us. It was amazing anyway. Thank you. I know you're about to release a new track with Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike. Yeah. Can Everybody clap. Give us a, ha a hint about it, about the well, sound. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Mitchell Pegas like Mike are known for their, um, you know, that diverse style, but they do a lot of the, like the harder club tracks, you know, with the more um, heavy kick drums. And I'm more known for melodies and for groove. So we always try to team up, mm -hmm. uh, like with Hey Boy, Hey Girl, is a song that we've done last year. And that worked really well together. So we were like, okay, we need to do a new song. And that came about, uh, just, I think, a few weeks before Tomorrowland. And we were like, okay, this is a good idea. And we called everybody clap. And we try to take people involved in that part of your set by doing something that people can mimic. Uh, and that worked out well. And we, we played it on Tomorrowland and it worked really well. And I played it tonight here at Until. And I just posted a video on, on Instagram to show the people how well it, it's doing. And it's coming out this month. I can't wait. Do Thank you, you have a video for it? Uh, good question. I have to ask the boys what they think. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tell me if you have un some untold wishes on your bucket list for this year. Untold wishes? Yes. Um, you mean for the festival? Whatever you want, in, in your life especially. In my life? Um, well, I'm actually very happy right now, but I think the biggest untold <laughs> um, wish would be to stay healthy and to look at my uh, health in special because I have not been really healthy in 2015, uh, 16. I was very, very much into the depression and anxiety and I feel really good now, much better. And I just want to keep this uh, at this pace and I would love to that my family and friends keep healthy as well uh, and try to enjoy the work that we do because it's so special. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. Can you give us a shout out for our Kiss FM listeners? Definitely. Hey, this is Nicky Romero. You are listening to Kiss FM here at Untold Festival. Kiss. Your number one kid radio.